Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to talk about a very interesting SQL problem uh, in which we will be identifying bulk purchase orders. So let's begin. So imagine that you are working in an e-commerce industry and you have been given some details of the orders where we have been you have been given the order ID. The product ID is nothing but the ID of the products that are being purchased in the orders and their respective quantities. And you are asked to write a SQL query to extract the order IDs that exhibit the bulk purchase behavior. And at last, the result should be presented in ascending order by order ID. So now the question is, how will you identify the bulk purchase behavior? So to do that, you will first have to identify the key metrics. That what key metrics will you define to identify the bulk purchase orders? So now you can even pause the video here and you can just think, think through that what key metric will you be uh, defining and then by the next second we will be discussing on the potential key metric that is required to identify the bulk orders. So here if we see the quantity column and it is very pretty uh, straightforward that if the quantity of your order is greater than the average quantity of the orders then your order will be set to be the bulk order right now there is one challenge that there are multiple order ids and for each order id the average quantity that we will be finding will be different so the question is that which average quantity will you be considering so now here the best solution is since we are uh, since we are identifying the bulk orders, so we will be choosing the maximum of the average quantity of each order. So the maximum of the average quantity of each order will be the one key metric that we will be defining. And since uh, the quantity of the order is something that you have to compare with the average quantity of the orders. So again the question is, since you have to compare the quantity of your order, so in the table if you carefully see that there are different products purchased for each order ID and their quantity is also different. So for the order ID 1, there are 3 products purchased with the product ID 1, product ID 2 and the product ID 3 and their quantities are also different. So which, which quantity will you be considering or which quantity would you choose to compare with the average quantities uh, with the average quantities of of the order so now again the answer is choosing the maximum quantity of each order so now our uh, our key metrics will be the average quantity of each order and the maximum quantity of each order and we will define our bulk orders as if the maximum quantity of each order is greater than the maximum of the average quantity of each order then then uh, those orders will be said to be the bulk orders now in most of the cases in most of the questions the interviewers itself gives you this key metric and uh, it's not necessarily you you need to think about this key metric uh, most of the questions already contain this key metric so no need to worry if you could not understand this uh, in most of the uh, in most of the cases you will be able to find the key metrics in the question itself so now uh, let's uh, find the average quantity of each order. Let's just understand the explanation here. So the average quantity of each order will be calculated as the total quantity divided by the distinct products. So here for the order ID 1, our average quantity has come out to be 12.33 which is nothing but the total of the quantity which is 12 plus 10 plus 15 divided by the number of products. So here uh, for the for the first order three products were purchased which is nothing but one two and three so here uh, it has been divided by three and the uh, average quantity has come out to be 12.33 similarly we will be calculating the average quantity for the order id 2 and it will be come out to be the total quantity which is nothing but 8 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4 here and it is divided by four products have been purchased in the order id and the average quantity has come out to be 5.5 similarly for order id 3 we can see that 5 plus 18 plus 20 divided by 3 for order id 4 it is 2 plus 8 divided by 2 products purchased and it has come out to be 5 and similarly for order id 5 the average quantity of the each order is 9 
Now, if we see that the maximum of the average quantity of each order here is 14.33. That means we will be comparing the maximum quantity of each order with the value 14.33 here. Now, let's calculate the maximum quantity of each order. So, for the order ID 1, the maximum quantity is 15. For order ID 2, the maximum quantity is 8. For order ID 3, the maximum quantity is 20. For order ID 4, it is 8. And for order ID 5, it is 9. So, now you just have to compare the maximum quantity of each order. So, here you will be uh, comparing these values with 14.33 where 14.33 is nothing but the maximum of the average quantity of each order. So here you can clearly see that orders 1 and 3 are bulk purchases because they have a maximum quantity that exceeds the maximum average quantity of each order. So if we see for the order ID 1, 15 is greater than 14.33 that means this is the bulk purchase. Similarly for order ID 3, here 20 is greater than 14.33 so there uh, that it shows that it is also the bulk purchase. So your sample output should look like this, which should contain the order ID 1 and order ID 3. So now you have understood the question that uh, what is the input, what is the output, what uh, what would be the approach, what key metrics you, you, uh, you, you will be defining. So now we will be working on MySQL Workbench and we will write a SQL query there to identify uh, the bulk orders and we will be writing the query uh, to find the average quantity of each order and to find the maximum quantity of each order and then we will compare the maximum quantity of each order with the maximum of the average quantity of each, each order in our MySQL workbench. So let's begin that. So guys here I have already imported my bulk purchase table and as we can see it contains three columns order ID, product ID and quantity. And now we want to uh, we want to extract the average quantity of each order and the maximum quantity of each order. So since we have multiple order IDs here, we will have to apply the group by operation on order ID and then we can easily calculate our average quantity by applying the average function on the quantity column and the max function on the quantity column. So let's let's just do that. So select I I want my order ID. For each order ID, I want maximum quantity for each order ID and the average quantity for each order ID. So now, I will just apply maximum function on the quantity to find out the maximum, maximum quantity. Also, I will be applying the average function to find the average quantity of each order so this will calculate the average quantity of each order and this is my table name bulk purchase okay and since i told that we will have to do a group by operation on order id order id Okay, so what uh, this query will give me, let, let's let's just run the query and see what it gives us. So it has given us the order ID since we there were 5 orders. For each order ID, it has given us the maximum quantity and the average quantity. Now in our question, now as we already discussed, the bulk purchase are those orders whose maximum quantity is greater than the maximum of the average quantity. So since we have already cal only calculated the average quantity here and now we want to compute the maximum of this average quantity. So what will be, how will we compute the maximum of this average quantity which is nothing but 14.33 and uh, we have to compare our maximum quantity uh, column with, uh, with this particular uh, value. So now to do that we will again uh, ma make use of uh, max function that is nothing but window function here now. So for this is the column that is the average quantity and we want it uh, to convert it into maximum quantity. So we will be applying the maximum function here. So and with that we will be using over clause. Why we are using over clause here is because here the over clause will transform this uh, 
will transform this particular function which is nothing but the average quantity function into a window function and this will help us to uh, find the average over a specified set of rows which is nothing but the entire which is nothing but our entire data set so that that is the reason we have applied over clause if in case you don't uh, apply the over clause the query will not be able to understand the context of this function which is nothing but the average quantity function and it will try to calculate the average quantity for each group defined by order id uh, which it does not make sense here right because we have already calculated it calculated the average quantity of each order and again it will do the same so uh, here we have applied the over clause just to make sure that we are computing average over all rows and uh, sorry maxim max of over all the rows so also one thing uh, we see here that we have not done any kind of partitioning or ordering here inside the over clause uh, that means that if the over clause is written without any partitioning or ordering it specifies that the calculation is performed over the entire result set okay so now if i just run this query what i will get is i i have got my maximum of the average quantity so i'll just change my column name as maximum of the average quantity now i just want to extract those order ids where maximum quantity is greater than the maximum of the average quantity so i can just make it as a as my temporary table and from i'm just giving it uh, i'm just giving the alias to this table as a and i'll just extract those order ids order ids from this table from this table where where a dot maximum quantity is greater than a dot maximum of the average quantity so now i hope it is clear we have uh, just made this as a temporary table and uh, from this uh, i have just given it a Give, given that this table as the alias a and from this table i have extracted those order, order ids which actually meets this condition and this condition i have applied in the where clause so i'll run the query again and we'll, we have see, uh, we can see that we have got the order id 1 and 3 as we already discussed this should be our output so i'll quickly explain the solution once again we have written uh, a query to calculate the maximum quantity and the maximum of the average quantity here and then the result of this query is treated as the temporary table for the outer query and uh, then we have just applied our uh, condition in the where clause that specifies the condition that the maximum quantity should be greater than the maximum of the average quantity of each order and uh, we have got those order IDs in our output. So I hope the solution is now helpful to you. Uh, let's meet in the next video. Thank you.